Hi friends, in Planet Earth dating, it's Sunday, April 12th, 2020. Happy Easter. In both the Lynn Life and the Jamie Body Mind, the authorized souls remain only child souls from the deeper denser dimensions and all other souls from all other dimensions as long as the souls are already participating in the many search for truth rules already given to the many search for truth members by wiser minds above all of us. And those rules include discerning the meanings of the messages that are delivered through these periscopes or attempting to discern the meanings of the messages and to deliver the messages or attempting to deliver the messages to whomever the messages are intended to be delivered to. So we have some interesting messages because we've lived on this tiny farm for almost three years. That's right. And uh, there's a lot of uh, pokey branches oh, on the yeah. tiny farm, aggressive, invasives so that oh, don't yeah. belong, and other things that do belong, but they're aggressive and pokey and thorny. out of control, thorny bushes. Yeah. So clipping thorny bushes is a common activity around here. Yeah, that's right. And twice in almost three years, while clipping thorny bushes, uh, this host life has been stung by wasps, and yep. those two times happened to be last night and the night before that. So this is not a theme we want to continue. No, we'd like to stop that pattern Yeah, we'd now. like to stop the pattern, so yeah. we want to deliver this message to whoever it is. So here you can see this was last night's this thing, yeah. and it happened right there, and it, the swelling is now down to here and over oh. to here, and the finger is kind of swollen to max yeah. capacity. And the night before, the sting is there, and it's swollen down to the elbow and up to the fingertips, like the whole thing. It's swollen like, it's like a sausage, <laughs> tight like a sausage, and it's hot, meaning yeah, inflammation. It so it's swelling and pain yeah. and this heat which me- and redness, which means inflammation. So the venom presumably has created inflammation, mm-hmm. and it's going on here uh, also. Awesome. And about this size is what this arm looked like a day earlier so we know that this one's headed for this so Um, both hands and arms both hands and arms which is kind of immobilizing for lots of work actually because we use our hands and arms not only for the farm work but also for the computer work so problematic that's trouble troublesome and the swelling is almost down to the elbow there's about uh, an inch to the very tip of the elbow and then the whole uh, from the s- base of the fingers to the tip of the elbow will be swollen. Yeah. Like to max. Like it's like a sausage. Yeah. Shiny, There's no pink. extra skin left. No skin left. Okie doke. Okay. And so today we're working to heal the root causes of the swelling and the pain and the inflammation. And whatever those represent, delivering whatever those messages are to whoever in the higher dimensions is supposed to get them in such a way as to stop the destruction in a fair and just way. And as is the case in any healing session and also any interdimensional channeling session, the backdrop of the environment of the planet and dimension combination in which the channels in which the hosts are operating really matters because everything plays out against the environment in which it's set. And so as this session is being filmed, we are a month into the shutdown because of the COVID-19 situation here on Ground Zero Planet Earth. And so humans on ground zero planet Earth, I think in most countries of which I have awareness, have been encouraged to stay at home and limit contact with others. And we're going to get started now. Now pulsing that upward flow, merging the energy bodies together more deeply, starting to reach up higher, 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 calling to the highest powers we can connect with right now, maybe who are working to stop the destruction in a fair and just way, Mm -hmm. 
Let's see if we can find presences. And I can feel presences mm -hmm. who feel like they are working to stop the destruction in a fair and just way. So really merging the energy bodies together so that they can feel how it feels in the hands and arms of the Lin Life Collective so they can feel the swelling and the pain and the inflammation which is not a complaint. The reason I'm stating it that clearly is because this is so obviously a message and so I want to deliver it fully and not leave out important parts or important um, facets of the problem. And now asking those higher powers, what do we do now? Obviously to heal the root causes, what's actually underneath those signals in such a way as to stop the destruction in a fair and just way. And they're looking at those signals and someone in that higher dimension room is talking about what was going on when the wasp stings occurred. And they're kind of working through, it almost looks like footage, video footage of what they're calling the attack. And they're talking about how the Lin Life Collective was tending the land and what she was clipping with clippers was mostly invasive plants plants who don't actually belong here and were brought here a long long time ago by humans but have caused problems and because of their thorns are not good um, neighbors make it harder to tend the plants who belong here and they're showing the clippers clipping the plants and then they're showing how angry the wasps were so furious so angry and what it feels like is those higher powers are turning over and over in their hands all the different facets of the fury and one guardian angel is saying that quite obviously the wasps are angry because humanity as a collective has been destroying the planet and it has not gone, gone unnoticed by the wasps and by other sentient presences and so this presence is saying maybe he has righteous fury toward humanity as a whole and saw it as part of his duty to um, strike down this one particular human who is maybe the only human he's seen maybe ever in his entire life and he saw it as a right and just act even if that particular human uh, he didn't know her history of destruction but he felt like w we must do this for the good of our people and the good of our God and that's one presence's opinion and it feels like they're building to a larger point so we're just gonna go with it and this other presence is saying, no, no, I tell you it's a miscommunication. Um, and he's saying, you forget that everybody is selfish. You forget that, uh, he's saying, uh, holy wars are not actually fought for the good of the the good of the group, the good of the community. It's always about what that one individual actually wants that comes from within. And he keeps talking about the clippers, the big blades moving. And this guardian angel is certain that the wasp simply felt that his direct uh, experience, maybe his home, maybe him himself, was threatened by the clippers. And maybe he would tell people that he was fighting for a greater cause or fighting for a holy war by stinging the Lin Life Collective but it simply came out of a sense of feeling um, attacked himself in that very moment. And now they're starting to talk and they're, they have still that uh, kind of boiling discussion of the intents of that one particular wasp, that one particular attacker. And I think they're talking about the first attack it seems to be the first wasp they're talking about. I don't feel a lot of focus on the second guy yet. Mm -hmm. 
And they're kind of holding that, like we may come back to this later or it may feed into a larger point. So just like keep this right here on the table. Mm -hmm. But now they're starting to shift. And it might be people in that same higher dimension room, but who have higher status or are simply working on a finer level of the problem. They're starting to talk about venom. And they're talking about poison. And they're talking about how everything has a limit. And there's only so much venom or poison that can be contained inside any container before it is too much for the container. And they're talking about that on a planetary level, like they're looking at this image they've shown us a bunch of times where it looks like planet Earth as if we had a camera that could show the astral currents where you could see the poisonous clouds rushing across the surface of the planet. And they're talking about how there's only so much poison, there's only so much badness that can be contained inside of the atmosphere of a planet, and that's one of the pieces. And then they're talking about this particular uh, site of sting, this forearm, and how it's so swollen, the skin itself is tight, is taut. It's like all of the extra skin has been used. There is no more room for more swelling. The skin is pushed to its limit. And they're drawing a lot of focus to that point of the venom having created something pushed to a limit. And obviously here in the uh, microcosm and also on a planetary level, but I can tell they're talking about something also much bigger than planet Earth. Well, one thing I know is that what it looks like when something injects venom it looks kind of like something we have been shown before. Uh, and we're often shown the image as if we are looking up from a smaller dimension, seeing larger presences inject um, bad karma, oh, interesting. bad stuff, poisonous stuff, toxic is the word they keep mm -hmm. saying, toxic stuff into smaller dimensions or denser dimensions. Like fracking. Like fracking. It's what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah, right? And it's fascinating because, you know, if this were a normal healing session for one of my normal clients, probably what their guardian angels would tell us to do is to find the guardian angels responsible for whoever injected the bad stuff in. And this came up in a healing session for one of my clients yesterday in a fascinating way I didn't realize until just now. And they had us find the guardian angels and ask if they knew that the presences they were responsible for were dumping toxins into denser dimensions. And they had us keep going up the chain of archangels until we found someone who gave a hoot and who was willing to just pull the poison out. But this situation, this particular situation, represents something so much bigger than what the normal, and I don't mean this in a mean way, but the normal rank-and-file guardian angels are able to, um, like, access guidance for. It's so tricky when the big ones are in on it, someone says. Mm -hmm. Someone who feels like they're about to get shot, basically, for mm -hmm. saying that. They say it's so tricky when the big ones are in on it. Well, you just have to shine the light past them or through them. Exactly. Whistleblowing is a delicate art. Exactly. That's what they're talking about. 
But now someone, maybe higher than that last group, is drawing the focus back to the wasps. The wasps who stung the hands and arms. And they're drawing the focus back like there's a huge important point that I have missed. They're talking about the intersection of action and intention. Mm-hmm. And they're talking about how what the wasp meant to do and why he meant to do it makes all the difference. And how both wasps stung, but why they both stung and what they were intending to accomplish feels completely different between the first wasp and the second wasp. And it would be all too easy, someone says, it would be all too easy for us to pretend or imply that all similar actions come from the same place. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree with you. What do we do about the pain and the swelling? And the inflammation. And the inflammation. And whatever they represent. What do we do about it? Would it be okay if I hand the message up? If I just start to hand it up? Because we have a lot of it. You know what this feeling could be? Mm. It could be like when um, we break into those rooms with higher powers who are not bad people at all, but they just want to talk about things. Mm -hmm. And they're not terribly interested in taking action. Mm -hmm. Two pests. Yeah. Well, let's figure out what is the difference. What are they saying the difference is between the first guy and And the the second second guy? guy? 